show you uh, something about a glass stop. This is a uh, Conair Trifab 400 series storefront. Uh, it's a cutout that we have here in our office. Uh, we're going to talk about glass stop disruption in this video. Uh, this cutout has a jam and it's got a sill and your sill has a snapping glass stop right here. This is your glass pane and this is your your EPDM gasket. Okay. What we're going to do now is first we're going to show you that this glass stop, I'm going to tilt this system on its side. Uh, if you're going to pop this glass stop off, you have to push into it. It's either got to come out or in. When the gasket's in place and the, and the glass is in place, <coughs> this isn't coming out. This is very, very, uh, it's tight, it's within, it's snap and grows. This has been, uh, this has been uh, extruded to fit together. So what happens is, let's take this system apart. I'm going to pull out the gasket, and this gasket's coming out pretty easy because it's not set in all four corners of the, of the system. I'm going to remove the glass and set it outside. Now, this system normally is going to be installed into an opening. It's going to be hit, it connected to the jam, to the headers, and to the sill. So you're going to have some way that the system's stable. We don't have it stable, so I'm going to lay it on its side. And even with the system removed, for me to pop this gasket off, this glass stop off, I've got to push with a tremendous amount of force. Now in the field sometimes they'll take a small plank of wood or something and they'll have a hammer and they'll pop it off. Or some guys take a screwdriver and they'll hit it and pop it off. You've got to give it quite a wallop. I'm going to lay into it with my weight. You've got to really force this thing to remove this glass stop once these grooves are set in place. Now on our inspection sites a lot of times we see a tremendous amount of evulsing of these glass stops. And with this system in place, with the glass in place and the gasket, it's very difficult to do that. You need a tremendous amount of movement and, 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 and rotation and pressure and glass movement to force this glass stop to evulse. Uh, now I'll show you something else. Let's put this glass stop back in place. I'm going to set the glass stop against its first position on the interior of the framing member and then I'm going to give it a good push and there you snap back in place. That's a lot of force. This thing doesn't go anywhere. Once it's in place, <coughs> nowhere. It's not going anywhere. We take the glass, we put it back onto its setting block and then we take this gasket which we cut so it could be removed uh, and we start working it back in to its position and put this storefront back together again and we work the gasket back to the center and we work the gasket back to the center and we make sure it's set glass is set turn the system down again <coughs> not going anywhere and that is glass stop disruption